Hello, hello, hons. I am back again. This is your handful mama. And today I will be making my spaghetti rotini casserole. I have my spaghetti here. And also I have some rotini. And also I'm going to add some sausages in, the brats that I picked up from Walmart. Also I will be adding in some ground beef. This is the 73% lean. And also, I'm going to show you my ingredients that I will be adding today. I will be adding some garlic powder. Also, some onion powder. I also will be adding in some minced garlic. And also, some tomato base, basil garlic. As well as parsley flakes. And some mozzarella cheese i picked up all these ingredients from walmart you can pick up all these ingredients from your local walmart over here on the back of the stove i have my pasta and my rotini cooking that's in a pot you want to cook this around about eight to ten minutes on high heat then over here the brats the bratwurst i have them right here in the skillet and I am cooking them down and they're almost done. I'm going to chop these up before I put them in my casserole. And over here, that's that hamburger meat that I told you that I have. And I have the 73% lean. I don't have my ground turkey tonight. I usually just only cook with ground turkey. But I saw this in the store and it looked like a really good buy from Aldi's. And I said I'll try that. So it's the 73% lean. And I think that's still going to be healthy for me and my family. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this drained uh, and also I'm going to get these sausages drained and I'm going to get everything chopped up really, really good and I will be back, Hans, when I get all this down and chopped and get these noodles, the spaghetti and the rotini cook, cooked up to perfection and I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, Hans, I am back. As you can see on the back of my stove here, I was telling you guys just to let your rotini, I have some rotini and some spaghetti, and both of these are wheat. That's basically the only thing that I cook with in my household. Uh, if you prefer to get the other spaghetti or rotini, that's fine, but I prefer if you get the wheat because uh, that'll make the dish lower in calories. Uh, I have cooked that down to like eight to 10 minutes, so that's basically ready. Only thing I have to do is get that drained. But on the front here, I have my bread, my bratwurst sausage I was telling you guys about. As you can see, I have drained that. And also, I have chopped that up really fine. Over here, I have my 73% lean ground beef that I have chopped up really, really good. And also, you guys, I didn't mention this to you. You can also use this traditional great value pasta sauce as well. I know I showed you guys the basil, but you can get this. This is under a dollar from Walmart. I think they have several brands that you can buy at Walmart. So you just don't have to have the basil garlic. You can just put any uh, flavor in your uh, casserole. So I just wanted you guys to know that. But you're probably going to have to use at least a jar and a half of these. This is the 24 ounce. Or you can, um, I think it's this only size that they have for a dollar or under. But you will be able to have to use at least about one and a half of these jars or maybe two. It's just according on how much uh, sauce you want in your mozzarella casserole. But I'm going to go ahead and turn my eye off the spaghetti and the rotini at the back. And I'm going to go ahead and season my sausage as well as my hamburger meat. We're going to start off with some garlic powder. Let me get this open here. But this is the garlic powder I was telling you guys from Walmart. And most of these greens, like I was saying before, you can pick them up from Walmart. So you can just make that one stop. I'm talking about everything that I showed you is from Walmart, even uh, the mozzarella that I was showing you guys. And this is the big pack. And I think this pack is uh, a little over $3. 
So we're going to go ahead and add some garlic powder to this, maybe two teaspoons. We don't want to overpower because we got some more uh, ingredients coming in. Same thing as the onion powder here. We're going to put some of that on it. Now, you can put some uh, chopped onion in your recipe if you would like. You can use the chopped onions. Just get you a small onion and just uh, chop it up really, really fine. And you want to add that to your ground beef and your sausage. You don't want to just add it separately in your uh, casserole. You want to add it in your ground beef or your sausage. And you just want to chop that down really, really fine and add that in. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go in with our onion powder. And I'm going to same thing, round about two teaspoons. Then we're going to come over here to the hamburger. Lean, 73% beef. Same thing, two teaspoons. And then we're going to go back in with the garlic powder. Same thing on the garlic powder, two teaspoons. Okay, then we're going to come in with some of the minced garlic. You can get this from Walmart as well. And we're just going to go in with one tablespoon in each. In the, in each. So one in the um, sausage and then one in the hamburger. 73% lean. Okay, then last we're going to add some parsley flakes. Around about two teaspoons of parsley flakes. Sausages. And then also two teaspoons in your hamburger meat two teaspoons in each okay Hans I'm gonna get these tops back on everything and I'm gonna get this stirred up and the only thing I'm gonna be doing is just stirring each one up real up really really good to get those flavors mixed in I'm gonna do the same thing to the hamburger meat I'm gonna get my spaghetti and my rotini drained and I'll be back Okay, hon, I am back. I, if you can see, everything has been drained. I'm going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of parsley to my rotini and my spaghetti here. Two tablespoons in that. And also, I'm going to go in with some of that garlic powder. Just one teaspoon because I've already added it to my uh, hamburger meat and my sausage so I don't want to overpower it so I'm just going to go in with some onion powder as well just a teaspoon and I'm going to do just a little drop of the garlic let me rinse off my spoon and I'm going to go in with uh, just a little of this minced garlic about a half a teaspoon Okay, I am going to stir this up really, really good. And this is the consistency that it needs to be. It don't need to have any extra water in it. Because if that water is in it, you're not going to be able to taste those good ingredients that I have added. So you just want to mix it up well all the way through. And this is just a half a box of spaghetti, the wheat spaghetti. You can get it from Walmart. It's well under a dollar. And then the rotini is about just a cup, about a cup of rotini. Okay, I have mixed that really, really well. And we're going to start building our breath, hamburger, mozzarella, casserole. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start off with the rotini and the spaghetti we're just gonna spoon some in the bottom here that's gonna be our base and i have big red here i call my skillet big red so we're gonna bake this in big red now you can do that in a dish kind of like this if you want to but i decided to do it in big red i'm not going to do it in this dish tonight so Gonna come back over here. We're gonna spoon some more because you want it to get 
all the way around in your dish, whatever dish you decide to use. And this will feed a family of 10 if you have 10. If not, you can just save it for another day because it'll be plenty left over. Okay, so we have that already in the bottom here. And then we're going to go in with our uh, pasta sauce. And I just popped it off and then I'm just going to pour it all the way around to get it on top of this spaghetti and rotini really good. Okay. And I'm just going to go in and use my spoon and kind of just layer it all over that to make sure it is fully covered. And then I'm going to kind of smash it down just a little to make sure it's going to be all the way through the spaghetti and the rotini. That's going to pat it a little so it'll get all the way through. And I could have mixed it, but I prefer to do it like this. This is the best way to do it, you guys. Don't mix it into your pot. Just do it like this. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and go in with some of our hamburger. And we're just going to bring it all the way around. And you want to make sure it's crumbled the best way, the best possible. And make sure it don't have any excess, you know, extra water in it. If it does, just drain it a little bit as you put it in. But it shouldn't have any water in it. Okay. Like we got that all the way through. And you just pat it down a little bit with your hand. Then we're going to go ahead and go in with the sausage and just the same thing all the way around get some on this side and just make sure it's covered in the middle and on the sides so you should be basically seeing it covered over the spaghetti as much as possible. You just pat it down with your fork. Push it out on the side so it'll be covered really, really good. Okay, then we're going to go in with our mozzarella cheese. And like I said, you can get this from Walmart. And it's best to use the shredded kind instead of the chunks. So we're just going to go all the way around with the mozzarella all the way around the side make sure everything is covered and if you would like to put extra on each layer that's fine but i'm going to just do around about maybe a cup to start with okay now we're going to go back in with yes we're going to go back in with our spaghetti and y'all see why I had to use Big Red? <laughs> because this makes a lot and it will get heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this down because it's getting kind of heavy. But you just want to keep spooning your spaghetti and rotini in your skillet or your dish. Just going to put it in just like I'm doing. Now you don't have to cook this amount, but I want this to be for dinner tonight. And I want it to be for dinner tomorrow. So I'm basically over here, I almost got everything out the pot. And I want to get it all. I don't want nothing to be left behind. I'm going to rake all of this out. And excuse the raking, y'all. I hate to hear that scraping of the pots. But I'm going to try to get as much out as possible. That's everything at the pot. Okay, and I'm going to go back over here and just spread everything kind of nice and neat. Okay. Now, same thing. 
This time we're going to go in. We're not going to do the sauce because we want to get that last. We're going to go back in with our hamburger meat. And make sure it don't have water in it because you don't want it to take away the flavor of your entire dish. So we're just going to spread that around all the way through. And I just like to pat mine to make sure all of it is on there. Kind of all the way through. You can see it's all the way around the dish. Now we're going to go back in with those sausage. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on here with my hand. My hand is clean. So we're going to get that all the way around. Nice and pretty. Get it all the way around. Same thing with the sausage. You can see the dry consistency. That's how it needs to be. No water included. So it won't take the flavor away from your dish. Okay, I think we got all of it on there. So I'm going to pat that down a little. Make sure it's all the way covered. So when you get that spoonful, you will have all of the ingredients. Now we're going to go back in. Let me rinse my hand off. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the tomato sauce. And at this point, your dish should be kind of high. Like I said, this makes a lot. And I'm going to wash off my spoon. And I'm going to spread that small amount that I just put on there spread that around first but we opened up that other jar then I'm fit to pop over this pop open this tomato basil and go in slowly at this point because your dish like I said should be high 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 it should be really full so you have to go slowly and that's just almost half of that jar and so you're going to carefully take your time and just spread it around the whole dish. You don't want anything left out, so make sure it's covering the entire dish. And if you get a little on the side, that's okay. Just kind of scrape that off so it won't be leaking in your oven and just bring it back up like I did off of this side. But we're going to do this side and get it all down all the way around make sure every corner is covered with the sauce okay now I'm gonna put a little more on this side to make sure that's covered on the bottom I'll take that off my hand off. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little more on the top. And that is going to be it. And the reason why I'm adding a little extra because I like mine to have a lot of sauce on top of it. Okay, and the last thing we're going to throw on there is our mozzarella cheese again. And you're going to cover that all the way across on all the sides like I did on that bottom layer. Just want to sprinkle it all around the sides. And you don't have to rush. You just want to go slowly so you don't lose a lot of cheese. I like to make everything count. I don't like to waste food. So I'm going to take my time here. And just make sure it's on really, really nice and neat. And this is going to bake on just 10 minutes. Because everything, you got to remember, everything is basically done all the way through. You just want to get that cheese melted down. 
extra perfection and I want some extra trees so I'm going to throw me some extra mozzarella on here okay and then last let me wash my hands and I'm going to throw this last ingredient on the top and that is my favorite you guys if you watch my video I always have to throw that parsley on the top I'm going to put that parsley all the way around and I'm going to go clean my stove because if you watch my video, you know I have to clean my stove. That's a pet, one of my pet peeves. Okay, you guys, we're going to get this in the oven to 10 minutes and I'll be back to show you the finished product and it's really, really heavy. So you guys be very, very careful. I'll be back. Okay, hon, I am back and I have taken it out of the oven. It is finished. And you guys, I know I said 10 minutes, but I went ahead and did it for 15 minutes because I wanted that brownness to, you know, the cheese to get kind of like a brownish on the top. Uh, but it is finished. And uh, you can leave it in 10 if you prefer. Like I said, it's already cooked. Basically, you just want your cheese to kind of melt. And uh, I just went ahead and did mine for 15 just to get that little extra little crust on there. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see how this look. And I am just going to separate a small little section to show you guys how this should come out. And this is how it should look. You guys see that cheese, that scratch? That's how it should look. Okay, you guys, I've done it again. This is your handful of mama. And I have made this on my channel, something I've never made before. My brat sausage, my brat work, hamburger, rotini, spaghetti, casserole. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Please like, please comment, and please hit your notification bell. I'll see you in the next video, Hans.